And now, evidence of bad acting. Mind blown. Who? Wait, what? Rome. Rome wanted to lower the esteem of the church. Lower the esteem? The esteem. Why? Like, the, the church is oh. starting to grow too much, so Rome kicked it back down a little bit. Mm, okay. They lowered the esteem. And they did this by low comedy. Low comedy? Yes, low comedy and it's mass appeal. So, that means, like, Medea? Like, she kills them, takes the corpses away on a magical chariot pulled by dragons. Mm. Curse you! Oh, I remember that now. Yeah. So, okay, well, except it was more like curse you. But. And then the last thing was the Roman stage. The Roman stage. Hey, here. Here's your children. Guard them. Oh. Orchestra was raised. They had more physical style of acting as well. And now, medieval. Medieval. There were monotheistic and polytheistic people. Um, the church kind of took over. Before medieval, it was the uh, it was Roman, and in between the two, it was known as the Dark Ages, where everything oh, it's dark, where everything was dark. Actually, it was never dark, but no one really did anything. Everyone was just kind of lazy, and there was just a stop in civilization growth. So there were pagan people, which meant that they believed in more than one god. And there were other people that were Christians and stuff that were monotheistic, which means that they only believed in one god. And so basically they had like this whole war and fights against each other. Um, a lot of uh, people died and crap and it wasn't, it wasn't fun for anyone. So basically um, the pagans since the Christians, you know, there was more of them at the time, um, they were unallowed to read the Bible, the pagans were. And so this really stopped them from doing it really much of anything. Hey, and so I came back from the market and I found some street performers. I got this for you. Ha! Some guy was juggling it. I got this guy while you didn't. I got this while you didn't. Can't juggle. I got this while some guy was eating the sword. May he rest in peace. Aww. I was, I was going to try, and then I got the weird cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, huh? I think it's cantaloupe. As he showed us, there were many different kinds of performances in medieval times. Dallas? I'm doing it, Dallas. Oh, whoa. Wait, here. Wait, I'm going to try. Ugh. Oh, I'm Ow. so sorry! Ugh. Oh, no! So, anyway, there were street players. Ju oh, my lord. There were... Street players, oh. jugglers. Dallas, you stop it. You can't juggle. <laughs> I know. Acrobats and animal trainers, and um, a lot of plays at the time were things called passion plays or um, stories about Christ's life. And they also made it made mystery plays, which were biblical stories. And so priests started acting these plays and whatnot to the people so that more people would join their uh, religious group. And um, it, it went on like that and started to grow more. And um, eventually they came up with this thing called, uh, later when it started becoming more like the church was not really as much involved anymore, like there was other people starting to perform plays and things. They were called morality plays. And they, believe it or not, taught morals. Yeah. The new theater stage were now called pageant wagons. Ooh. 
and they were basically rolling stages for these other non-religious performers. And basically, what they did is, um, or what, what they had were three pieces of the stage, or p three pieces of the main stage. One was called the Heaven stage, which was basically where... Yeah, paper. So basically it was where it was like usually people who played as Jesus and other yes, keep going. special people. I know I didn't say that. It, I, I knew I said it, it wasn't religious, but that's kind of what they called it. Um, and then there was the stage where most of the time that's where it was played because so like all the mortals. it was like yeah all the mortal humans were all the mortals and then you go down a level then you go down to the hell mouth which is basically where devils yeah it's basically where the devil usually appeared there you usually see people acting like they were dying there it wasn't like they were burning then we move on to the renaissance no it's the interlude next the interlude the interlude you forgetting the interlude this is right before the Renaissance and Reformation. Ooh, ooh. Right before Elizabeth and Jane. Okay, old so, man. I'll take this one. <coughs> so this is, it's a really simple time. Morality plays became more realistic and had some more com comedy, kind of comedic things in there. They were just written mostly for amusement of the people, such as, Dallas, you're fat. <laughs> Everyone's laughing, see? Jacob, you're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> And then there's just this little transition, tra 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 transi transition, 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 tran from religious shit to secular drama. Yep, and that basically meant it was more like dirty jokes sort of were starting to come in. Yes, and then there's plays. a playwright person thing. Yeah, and, and it did not become part of like the church yeah. anymore, really at all. Dallas now is the Renaissance. Now is the Renaissance. It's just the reestablishment, the, re the Reformation. Yeah, the Renaissance. Wait, 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 Reformation. Renaissance, 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 Renaissance. So Renaissance, Renaissance, basically, Renaissance, Renaissance. the Renaissance. It just touches back on the Greek and Roman. Yeah. Kind of just word. like whoosh, whoosh. Everything got better. Emphasis and so on people a started to act. Hold on. There were now different stages, like playmakers, which were courtyards, apron stages, which were. Uh, thrust on stage, three or three-sided like, stage, like yeah. those supermodels. Oh yeah, uh-huh. Um, then there was the ground space, which was an elevated stage. Which kind of pull people sad. And yeah, it, it was, no. Yeah, during this time of the Renaissance, Reformation's coming up, just give it a second. There was an emphasis on dialogue, and church loses control of the arts. New government! Communism! Yay. No. Dictatorship? No. Anarchy. No. We'll call it Parliament. <laughs> no. Reformation. Reestablishment of the churches. Reformation. If you are Catholic, you die. If you no, if you are not Catholic, then you die. You would have died from the Black Plague. Dallas. I don't feel too good. Run. <laughs> I thought it was just a minor flu. That must be good then. But so we're moving into Shakespeare. Yep, I, Shakespeare. I hear, I, hear, I hear he's got a couple good plays. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna go see one of them. Be back in a minute. But what about what about the video? Dallas, I'm seeing this. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. <sighs> okay. Shakespeare was a shareholder in companies and. Made money, uh, made money as a maker, actor, and investor of plays. And he also co-owned the Globe and Blackfriar play, the Playhouses, or also known as the Open Air Theaters. Men at this time still played as women, and it kind of grosses me out to think that they played out Romeo and Juliet. Ew! <laughs> Ew, they're kissing! <laughs> Dallas! <laughs> Hmm. Well, oh, there's, there's a little sort of, oh! Well, looks like the gnome's not doing any more videos. Death to the gnomes! <laughs>
19th century, they had increased commercialization of art. Uh, there was a playwright guy named David Garrett. He's a manager and playwright. He sets, and now he had a more natural form of acting. Got more and more natural throughout the time. And this is when theater finally appears in America. Uh, they also had some more technical, technological innovations, and this is where critics start showing up. Nobody, better, nobody had better be critiquing this. Well, Find your... if no one's critiquing it, then how can it be good? Answer me that. Ah, we're in the 19th century. Yep, we're getting some theater changes of uh, gas lighting, which was in 1870, 1817. Then moved on to arc lighting, then electrical lighting. Finally, we got lighting controls. Yeah, there was a poor quality of light developed and melodrama acting. Okay, so we're on the 19th century, right? Yep, there's okay. some exaggerated. It was more spectacle. Highlined drama, more naturalistic, and more contemporary.